girls are very intrigued to find out what's in their chewy box. It is one thing and one thing only. Oh my goodness. It is metabolic mobility. Dog food. This is your new dog food. Are you excited? Apparently, this was recommended by Sadie's vet once she finishes um, her other food. Participated in Amazon Prime because I did. Um, my girlfriend got, Sadie knows this is for her too. Watch out, baby. These are gloves that help during a bath. She does not like baths. Um, they help with the shedding because this one here is part Australian cattle dog. Um, she very well uh, sheds and has two coats with that shedding. Yes, you do. Yeah. We love her, but it's a lot, so... We figured kind of de-shedding her as much as we can in the bath will go a long way. My girlfriend got me water shoes. They're pink because I told her to get the cheapest one. I didn't care about the color, so pink was the cheapest one. Um, I got myself a new rock tumbler. Good morning, y'all. I have my... Uh, Dunkin' Coffee. It is currently 8.30. I dropped my girlfriend off of off at work. I took her car today. Yes, I did. Um, because I have a Dexcom package coming in. So, a funny story. Um, I kind of went on a rant on TikTok about this. But essentially... I had a Dexcom delivered to my door and I wasn't home at the time of delivery and I was waiting on this delivery and someone stole the package. Like it was not at my doorstep and FedEx had like taken a picture of it at my doorstep. I was like this is obviously my door. So I was really pissed off. I was like, what the heck? So I called Dexcom and I was like, I see that the proof of, you know, me receiving the Dexcom, like FedEx set proof, but like someone stole it because it's not here. And so uh, Dexcom, they only are allowing three um, free replacements. So I'm pretty sure that just used up my second one. But you know what? It's fine. I need it. So it should be coming today, basically. And it requires a signature, so I have to be there. Um, so I'm patiently waiting for an update for like a window for me to drive over to my place. But essentially, um, girlfriend and I are getting ready to move. We get the keys on Tuesday. Um, so by the time this video is up, like, we will have the keys to our apartment. It's only four days away. It's literally the Saturday before. So I am really excited. I cannot wait to show you guys the apartment. It is so nice. Like, I literally, I have pictures. Hold on. Where's my phone? I never know if my phone or my pump, like, which pocket is in what. And the laundry just stops. So now I have laundry to do. Okay. So this is the master bedroom. This is gonna be where my office is and my desk is gonna go right along here. It's technically the master bedroom because the bathroom is like right attached to it. The toilet seat is open, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, this is like the bathroom and the vanity and then me, LOL. Um, this is the shower, look, it's, oh my God, I don't wanna show you guys where I live. Um, or where I'm gonna live. This is, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to back it up. It's a garden tub. I'm so excited for a garden tub, you guys. I took a little picture of the pantry of like the linen closet that's in the bathroom. So each bathroom has a linen closet that 
that big, which is really nice. Look at this freaking kitchen, you guys. That sink, you'll see it comes out. I love it. Your girl has never had a dishwasher in any of the places that she's lived. Um, it's super nice, and then there's the, the back patio, the door to it. Um, the oh. other side, we've got stainless steel appliances, the microwave, the, the stove, the fridge. Above the fridge is a freaking wine rack. Are you kidding? Anyway, I'm really excited. And then there's a laundry room. You guys! Guys, I'm getting a laundry room. Here is the living room. So I didn't take, there's certain pictures that I didn't take, by the way. I didn't take the other side of the living room, but you see how small that is? The living room's here, and then like back behind here on this side, you can see kind of the kitchen, uh, kitchen countertop a little bit. But behind that is like a dining room. But then off to this side is another dining room. This is the second bathroom vanity. It's 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 pretty much the same as the other one. And then here's the other shower. It's really nice. Um, and then the, the bedroom. This is the second bedroom, but this is where we're going to be sleeping. And our thought process is... So my thought process is is the air conditioner units those really loud like outside units yeah that's next to the master whoever came with that up with that awful but anyway which you guys will see on an apartment tour before we clean up and leave i'm gonna do a empty apartment tour here and there and at my place only because i just want to wait for them to be empty because all of this stuff is just ridiculous um and my girlfriend and I are going to go through everything as we're moving. So we're going to like have a bunch of trash, a bunch of stuff to donate. I still have three bags that need to go to the domestic violence shelter. But they're literally open for donations from like 8 to 2 so I can never go. Um, so my girlfriend has to do it for me. Essentially what I guess I'm trying to say is that um, I want to do empty apartment tours because you got, I want you guys to see it and then once we get settled in I will do a decorated apartment tour of like our apartment. Um, here's my girlfriend's closet. Um, it, it has two racks on the side and one rack across which is why I'm wondering if she wants mine because mine is is two racks across but one rack on the side it is a decent sized patio so it's right here but then it extends almost almost to the point of the second bedroom almost um well i should say the master but here so it like it it almost does like that's the dining room um window so it is what it is and then here is the dining room so it's a decent size in the sink um and like look at that backsplash i don't know if y'all can see it but it's it's so cute anyway um and then i thought it was really cool that they had a vending machine and water bottle filler next to jim which I'm really excited. Their gym looks really nice. Their pool looks really nice. And their dog park, which we're going to be close to, looks really nice. And then the place also has its own access to a trail. So this one's going to get to go on walks. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited for this place. Like, I have not stopped, like, smiling when I think about this place. And I know my girlfriend's excited, too. So... I just, I cannot. What is this? She's literally on top of her. What is this? Sadie Mae. Thank you, baby. I did get myself a Dunkin' coffee. Um, and I bought my girlfriend one too. I told her it was either Dunkin' or gas that I had to buy. So she chose Dunkin' because obviously it's cheaper. It is now past 9 o'clock. I'm going to check and see if there's an update with FedEx. It just says that they'll add a delivery date as soon as the package starts moving. So I'm not going to go there until I see a status. Um, but I do want to say, like, I'm going to have a Pilates machine. So I have to have pla a place to be able to, like, set that down and use it. 
Um, and then we're getting a coffee bar and a laundry basket shelf, which I think will go in the dining room that I didn't take a picture of. Some of the stuff that we're getting is so freaking cute. Here is the coffee bar that we're getting and we're getting it in the light gray. So it has like the farmhouse style. Um, and then it has a place for mugs and like a huge, huge amount of space. So what we're probably going to do is have, my girlfriend has an espresso machine or something like that. So we're going to have that out as like a centerpiece and then my Keurig and then her coffee machine. And then she also has a French press. So we're going to figure out how we want to lay it out. But, um, yeah, it seems like there's a ton of space. The basket itself wheels out so you can wheel it anywhere. And then the desk portion is stationary. So it has two drawers and then a top for me. God, she is wild today. Oh my God, I was looking at um a youtube where remy looks so different so it, it's the one with me and larissa and mind you i had so much content created that some of the content was from a while ago so i want to show you guys remy now remy come here baby come here look so she's grown out a lot like look at that hair she's no longer <laughs> a shaved rat is she a little bit of a rat she looks like Sid the sloth and I cannot get over it we love her very much so if I didn't mention it in any of my other vlogs I'm just gonna mention it now um what happened was is she's actually gonna be a year old this week and Sadie's gonna be 10 years old this week but we had Remy spayed so we couldn't wash her at all. She was so traumatized, she wouldn't even like let us brush her. And the problem was, is we were trying to build a connection. We got her from somebody who just unfortunately could not keep her. Um, so, hi baby. <laughs> I love you so much. You are so precious. And as soon as you look like a golden doodle again, you will look so cute. You just look like half poodle right now. Um, so we, we got her from somebody who unfortunately could not keep her. Um, so we were trying to build a relationship with her. She adapted to Larissa very, very quickly and very well. Um, I, it took a lot to gain her trust though. But anyway... So we brought her home and and then we pretty much almost the next week, if not the week after, we got Remy spayed because we both agreed that we wanted to get her spayed before her period. We couldn't bathe her because of the stitching and we couldn't brush her because she was terrified and traumatized. So she was just so matted by the time we were able to give her a bath um, that we, we ended up um, taking her to Petco. Um, and I felt so bad because it's like we weren't not brushing her because we didn't care for her. It's that we were still trying to build this relationship with her because she didn't trust us yet. And so we ended up agreeing to shave her and then they were able to trim her face because her face wasn't that matted. However, we came to discover that her face was indeed matted. So we ended up um, Larissa got a kit for dog grooming, so we ended up shaving her face, which is why she now, come on, baby, looks like this. Hi, baby. Hi. She's my little menace, but she's also just so precious. You are too, Sadie Butt, and Sadie is almost 10. Yeah. Oh, I love you. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Anyway, 
Um, Larissa got Sadie from the pound. Apparently, like, a day or two after she ended up going there, I guess Sadie was abandoned um, in the apartment. And, like, someone, I think a neighbor or someone brought her to the pound. <sighs> My heart. I think Larissa has had Sadie for like nine years. So they built a relationship and then for the past couple months that I've been like staying here and coming over here so often, um, I built a relationship with Sadie. So it's been, oh my God, how long have I been dating Larissa? It's what? It's August, so seven, eight months I've been dating Larissa. Um, so hi, baby. <laughs> Um, so we built a relationship and, you know, uh, Remy and Sadie have a great relationship too. Yes, you do. You guys are like two peas in a pod. Joined at the hip. Don't lie to me. Don't you lie to me. <laughs> I love you. It's the slow lip licking for me. Hi, baby. Oh. Are you pushing away my love and affection? I just want to love you. I gave you the comfy blanket so you could lay on it because you love laying on the comfy blanket. Yeah. Anyway, back to business. I wanted to give y'all a heads up because my girlfriend and I are moving, which I don't know where I'm going to place it when I edit the vlog, but I showed some pictures. So the vlogs coming up are going to be the new apartment vlog, I'm saying goodbye to this apartment and my apartment, and then I made a decision to do a habits vlog, which is gonna take a lot more recording and editing and time, so I'm gonna push that probably, it's probably gonna be sometime in September that it ends up getting posted. I wanted it to be posted like the last week of August, but I, I literally just do not have anything done for that vlog yet. That's kind of the plan um, for my vlogs, and then we'll get back to business. I'll do like weekend resets again, Sunday resets. Um, I'll do more vlogs with Larissa um, as much as I can. So I just wanted to give y'all a heads up. That's kind of how the vlogs are gonna look like. But I feel like this this vlog is going to be very much just me yapping. I'm really, really, really excited for these next few vlogs because I love doing apartment tours and I love doing just... I have so many ideas for this apartment. Um, and then the apartment... I'll do another apartment tour once we have all the furniture and everything like set up. So my girlfriend and I do have somebody that comes to clean the house bi-weekly. Um, so I haven't been really doing Sunday resets because every two weeks the bathrooms get a deep clean, the floors and everything. So I pretty much do dishes, laundry, and then I tidy up. I really started letting this place go because I was like, well, it's going to get a deep cleaned af after we move. And like, there's just no point in, in deep cleaning and trying to fix up this place when we're going to move anyway. And my girlfriend was like, yeah, it's basically like cleaning it twice because you're cleaning it, you know, and then you're cleaning it and trying to get rid of stuff. But then that's what we're going to be doing when we move. And I was like, you're right. Like, I need to just chill. So... I, it's gonna be so surreal leaving this place because like I've been here for like seven months now about I think sometime in January I decided to move in with Larissa um, because of the roach problem which is super ironic is it an omen if like you find a bunch of roaches after you decide to move because this place never really had roaches or bugs and it would be maybe like once every couple weeks to once a month where Larissa would find a roach but ever since Larissa and I decided to move I think I've seen three dead roaches and three live roaches in the past like two days are you are you asleep on my lap? I think she fell asleep on my lap. I, I love you. She's like snoring. She 
she's awake. Okay. Oh, do y'all like my Larissa's so hot shirt? It, she just like leans into you and it's just the sweetest thing. I also just wanted to mention that I wanted to do the habits vlog when I moved into the new place because it's a lot more aesthetically pleasing. Um, not that this place has anything wrong with it, but like y'all saw the pictures. That place is just like a chef's kiss. So anyway, I'm I'm for real done. I I thank you guys for chatting with me and listening to life updates and I cannot wait for y'all to come on this journey with Larissa and I. Um, I'm just so excited. <laughs> it's so nice. Remy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Bye.